So today's story time is about the time that I walked in to what I think was a cult meeting. I don't even know to this day what to call the people I was looking at. But yeah, I think it's a pretty crazy story time. Let's jump into this. Leave a like if you enjoy. Let's start. So this story time takes place October 25th, 2015. It was one day before my birthday. I was hanging out at my friend's house. It was me and six other friends there. All of us were staying the weekend at my friend's house. And my friend had a pretty big house and a lot of land. Like he had acres and acres of land and it backed up to a huge forest. And I don't know why we would hang out there so frequently because his house was known for just creepy and crazy situations. Like every time we'd go there, something crazy would happen. Like there's other story times on this channel that take place at this friend's house. So anyway, we were staying the weekend there. My birthday was the next day and my friend was letting me have my birthday party at his house. So I was stoked. It was a good weekend for me. I was really excited, just really hyped up. And me and my friends decided to go in the backyard and do what we would always do at my friend's house and play hide and seek in the woods behind his house, which is not really the best idea. Like it was literally just a giant dark forest. Like every time we'd play hide and seek in this forest, something scary would happen and we'd be like freaked out for the rest of the night. So I had a feeling that was going to happen again. And boy was I correct, but it was way crazier this time. So we started off our hide and seek game in the very front of the woods. And the first few rounds weren't anything too crazy, nothing too scary. You know, it was a little bit creepy because it's a dark forest, but we didn't see anything out of the ordinary or anything like that. But fast forward to like our 8th or ninth round of playing hide and seek in this woods, that's when things got a little bit terrifying, okay? Actually, a lot more terrifying. So we decided to go deeper into the woods for this round because it was too easy to find everybody. My friend had a giant like portable light he would take with him into the forest when we would play, and it was just too easy to find people. So we decided to get rid of that light and then only use like these tiny flashlights that my friend had in his garage. So yeah, we got these flashlights, went deeper into the woods, like super far into the woods, and started playing this round of hide and seek. So my one friend who was seeking started counting backwards from three minutes. We had three minutes to hide in the best place possible. And my one friend runs up to me as soon as my other friend starts counting. He's like, Austin, let me hide with you. I don't want to hide by myself. I'm like, all right, fine. So me and my friend run as far as we can with our two just absolutely terrible flashlights deep into this forest, and we hide behind this tree. And we realized that this part of the forest probably didn't belong to our friend because there was a huge circle with no trees whatsoever and a giant fire pit right in the middle. And it wasn't lit. It was just a big fire pit of sticks. So we saw this and we're like, okay, this is a little bit weird, but whatever. Like no one's going to come around here. Who cares? So me and my friend hid behind this big tree stump of one of the cut down trees and we were just hiding behind it being as quiet as we could. So like five minutes go by and we don't see anybody, but we keep hearing yelling from really far away in the forest, which me and my friend just assumed it was our other friends being found every time that one of them would get found they would just yell really loud every time we play hide and seek so we weren't too freaked out about that it didn't really scare us or anything but fast forward like 10 minutes something started happening that was pretty scary so all of a sudden from a distance me and my friends start hearing branches snapping it was the same sound that somebody makes when they're walking through a forest so me and my friend stayed super quiet and super just nervous because we knew that the seeker was getting nearby and we didn't want to get found by my friend but then all of a sudden, the footsteps started getting faster, and it sounded like there was more of them now. Like a bunch of branches were snapping at the same exact time. It was either a really fast animal or a bunch of people. So me and my friend were whispering to each other. He's like, bro, what is that? I'm like, I don't know, man. I think it's an animal. And then my friend's like, no, bro. Like, it's got to be all of our friends looking for us. And I'm like, I don't know. So I peek over the tree stump, and I can't see anything. It's so dark, and I don't want to turn my flashlight on because if I do, then I'm going to get found by the seeker. So I just duck back down and I'm like, I can't see anything. And my friend's like, all right, whatever, let's just be quiet. So we're sitting there behind the tree stump being silent and the footsteps keep getting closer. And now I'm getting really scared because I'm afraid it's an animal. And if it's an animal and they see us, I don't want it to get mad and attack us. But then the footsteps get so close that I can start hearing voices. And this is when I got freaked out because the voices weren't my friend's voices. These were like random grown men voices. And then me and my friend just look at each other with the most scared looks on our faces. And we don't say a word. And I just kind of creep up and I peek over the stump and I can't see anything still because it's so dark. And now I really don't want to turn my light on because if I do, these random guys in the forest are going to see it and they might hurt us or like, I don't know, kidnap us or it's the police and they might arrest us. I don't know. I was freaked out. So I just duck back behind the stump and I whisper to my friend. I'm like, yo, we should run. Like We should run. He's like, no, nah, wait, wait. They might just pass by. I'm like, all right, fine. So we're both just sitting there hiding behind this tree stump. And now the footsteps have stopped. And all we can hear are voices, like a bunch of voices. If I could guess, it sounded like there were six of them. And the voices aren't getting closer and they're not getting farther away, which means they're completely stopped and they're just talking. 
So me and my friend are freaking out. We're trying to listen in on what they're saying, but it was kind of like far away. So we couldn't figure out what they were saying. And then all of a sudden we see a giant burst of orange light reflect off the trees. And my friend looks over at me and he whispers. He's like, yo, I think they just lit that fire pit in the middle of the circle. And I'm like, yeah, they probably did. So me and my friend just slowly peek over the tree stump to see if they lit that fire pit. And the fire was lit, but me and my friend saw a lot more than just a lit fire. We saw a bunch of men standing around this fire, and I mean like way more than six. If I had to guess, it was like 10 or 13 people, and everybody around the fire was wearing completely blacked out clothing. They all had black clothes on, and like black hoodies and black pants, and they were all wearing masks, like all of them. They all had a mask on. Some of them were wearing like hockey masks, and then other ones were wearing like Halloween masks, and there was candles surrounding the fire, and one of the guys was holding a notebook, and he stepped up and opened the notebook, and started loudly reading some random speech slash passage. I don't know what it was, but all of a sudden at the end of his speech, all of them started chanting at the same time, six, 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 and they just kept repeating the number six. And that's when me and my friend looked at each other and ducked back down. And I'm like, yo, I don't know what this is. I think it's a Satanist cult meeting. And my friend's like, bro, we need to run. And me and my friend jumped up and ran full speed as fast as we could with no light whatsoever into the middle of this forest. Like we had no idea what direction the house was in. We didn't know where to go. And the scariest part about this whole thing is when we took off running, we started hearing them yell, which means they probably heard us or saw us and they were trying to find us and chase us. So me and my friend were running as fast as we could and we fell over so many times. Like we had no light whatsoever. Like we didn't want to turn our flashlights on because if they saw the flashlights and they would know where we are. So we were running with no light the whole time and we tripped over branches so much. Like if I had to take a guess at how many times me and my friend fell over while running, probably like 10 times. So we get super far into this forest, and at this point, we realize that we're running towards nothing. Like, we keep running and running, and we get not anywhere near my friend's house or anybody else's house. We're just farther into the woods, which made this whole situation even more terrifying. So I pull out my phone, and I call my friend, the one who was the seeker in Hide and Seek, and he's like, yo, where are you guys? We've been looking for almost 30 minutes. And I'm like, dude, we're lost in the woods. Like, some guys came and had a fire, like, right next to us. And I swear it was, like, some Satanist cult meeting or something. Like, I don't know what it was. He's like, all right, just calm down. We're going to find you. Where are you? I'm like, bro, I don't know. We're in the middle of the forest. It's dark. He's like, can you see our flashlights? I'm like, no. And honestly, you guys should turn around and leave the forest right now. Like, let us try and find our way out. Don't come looking for us. If you run into those guys, they might hurt you. And my friend's like, well, what do you want us to do? Do you want us to call the police? I'm like, I don't know. Not right now. Just hold on. Give me a minute. So I talked to my friend who was with me. I'm like, yo, what do you want to do? He's like, all right, let's just take off running in one direction and let's not stop till we're out of these woods. I'm like, all right, let's use our flashlights. He's like, okay, sounds good. So I tell my friend on the phone, I'm like, all right, look, we're about to run in one direction and see if we can get out of these woods. If you don't hear from me in 10 minutes, call the police. He's like, okay, man. So I hang up on him and me and my friend turn our flashlights off and take off running as fast as we can, just straight forward in the same direction as fast as we can. And we ran full speed through this forest with our flashlights on for probably like 15 minutes straight. And finally, we end up coming out on some random main road, like completely far away from my friend's house. And I call up my friend. I'm like, yo, we're on this road right now. Like, see if you can come pick us up. And he went into his house, told his dad what happened. And his dad came and got me and my friend. And the whole way home, we had to explain to his dad what we saw. And his dad didn't believe us at first. But after he saw how nervous we are, he finally believed us. But he thought it was some people trying to pull some Halloween prank. But I'm telling you, that whole like cutout of trees, that whole circle and that fire pit, that's a lot of work for one Halloween prank. I just don't think that's what that was. So anyway, we got back to my friend's house. My friends were so excited to see that me and my friend were okay. I told them the whole story from start to finish. And we all agreed to not go back into those woods for a long time. And then the next morning, we went back into the woods. Yep, we went back in first thing in the morning to try and find that spot in the day. And we could not find it. I was so confused. But anyway, yeah, in the end, everybody was safe. Everybody was okay. I still have no idea who those guys were or what they were doing. But if I could guess, it was either a Satanist cult slash group meeting or it was a really crazy Halloween prank. I have no idea. But yeah, moral of this story is, is don't wander into random woods and forests. Especially if you're kids, just like me and my friends were. We were all really young when this happened. And if you ever do see something super scary like we saw, then do not hesitate to call for help immediately. Like me and my friends should have been on our phones calling 911 or my friend's dad as fast as possible. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If
Hi guys, thank you for watching, I love you guys so much, please like and subscribe to see more great videos, see you again.